Hi everyone, welcome back. We're live today on uh, March 11, 2022. March 12, 2022, Philippines. So how is everybody today? And um, finally, I have a topic to talk about with you guys. So welcome to the channel. So uh, um, as you know, as you can see, my title says is a... Uh, the Philippine mythical creatures. So we're going to talk about the Philippine mythal, mythical creatures. The first one is um, ghost. You know, we're very familiar of gores, ghost, especially in the Philippines. Ghosts are everywhere, you know. And um, I still remember that when I was a little kid, you know, uh, in my family, living with them, uh, we, have, we don't have a... Uh, electric power we don't have electricity i mean so we uh, slept early we slept early in uh, the evening let's say 6 uh, p.m or 7 p.m because that time is already dark here and we don't have uh, a lamp so that's why we slept early but let's say until 9 p.m my family all of them are uh, sleeping but me i'm still awake um, I heard that um, one or two people, you know, but I did. I can see them because it's already uh, night or evening. But I just heard outside that um, somebody is walking around the house, you know, and nobody is outside. I can't see them. And um, there is a, a night that I heard that there is one person who watered or who watering our plants. So... I am thinking, I, I have a thought, why is that somebody is watering our plants? But it's already late. And we don't have our own faucet. Like, kept on walking around, circling outside of our home. So uh, that's really, uh, that's scary. And it, I, I'm not scared. I, it didn't scare me. Because they said that it won't uh, hurt you. But in the Philippines, we have... Uh, a, um, in Tagalog of uh, ghost is Molto. We call it Molto, Molto here. And the famous place that who has a lot of ghosts is Baguio City. Yeah, there is a uh, one actor, you know, celebrity here in the Philippines that he saw a uh, couple of or a lot of ghosts in Baguio City, also in Tagaytay. I don't know why um, they love the uh, cold weather. Tagaytay and Baguio is um, they have a uh, cool weather there. Cold weather, you know, temperature, you know. But um, <clears throat> multo. Yeah. And second is aswang. I don't know English of aswang, but as what I search here, it's the same, you know, Tagalog or maybe it's an English word. Aswang. Another mythologic, mythological creature that comes to mind immediately is aswang, which is a creature or consumes the inert or a cadaver, the terms as one is also used of catch all name for various visitors, sucking creatures, Philippine mythology, while every region has their own version of the as one. And mangkukulang, it's like the same as uh, witches, like that. Witches. Like here in Sikora, I, I, I heard a lot of that in Sikihor Island, but not anymore, you know. They changed. They changed that. I mean, it's gone. Manco Kulam. Yeah, Manco Kulam. They're probably perform using your personal effects and uh, a doll or your photograph. So that's scary. Oh, if you want to go on a Manco Kulam hunt, head on over the island of Sikihor, which has long had the reputation of being home of Manco Kulam. So they said that if you're going to visit on that place or in that province, you need to be careful. Yeah, you need to bring your own water or your own food. Um, like uh, people, the villages, the vi villagers there are going to give you something like a food, but don't eat it because you, you don't know that um, they put something in it, you know, like a poison or whatever. Sig bean. I haven't seen a sig bean. 
but most people, yeah, a lot of people heard of that word here, but in real life, no, I haven't seen a sigbin, but I believe a sigbin. Like there's a one time, my my mom's friend, she uh, she can see the uh, um, other creatures like a ghost or whatever, like a sigbin. She said that in our neighbor, huh, inside of our house, um, but lucky that it didn't hurt us, you know. They she saw sigbin like a lots of sigbin, and then she said that um, sigbins are like they're happy, they're happy, they won't attack you. But there's one time I uh, go out late at night, and then in the morning we can't feel them. We they we can't see they can't. I mean. We cannot see them. We can't see them. But in the morning, I just saw my leg or um, here in my arm, there's a um, a block. What is that called? Like a uh, bruise, a bruises here and here. My mom said that um, they uh, sing them, taste, taste it, you, taste you like that. So that is scary. But lucky that, you know, and also one night, all of our, my, my thought or my, uh, I think that Sigmin who killed our cows, because one night, um, our cow was just running around the baby cub, but we're surprised, we're shocked that in the morning we saw our cow died. You know, lying in the dirt, you know, big, uh, um, the uh, stomach of the uh, or the tummy of our cow bloated, and there's no wound. We cannot, we can see that there's a bite on the skin of our cow. So, and the uh, other night again, other day, another cow of us died, and uh, also one time. I was uh, helping my mother selling foods. You know, we call it karinderia, which is you can see uh, on the street, you know, people are eating like karinderia, you know, different foods. We got that. And I, wa I went home, you know, to clean the house. I am very sad to see all of our chicken die. All of our chicken. We have a lot of chicken, like let's say more than 10 chicken. All of them died that was let's say early morning let's say 11 or 12 noon that time very sad you know i don't know and we can tell that from all of us all of our neighbors there they have a lot of chicken but why is that only us my family our chicken just died not our neighbors so i have no idea about we can't blame anyone because we don't have a proof or we don't have evidence who did it. So, <sighs> I don't know. White lady or ghost is the same, you know. White lady is a ghost. Um, Amumungo. I haven't heard this Amumungo. They said Amumungo is supposedly a hairy white ape that disembowels chicken, goats, and other animals, and then eats their intestine. Ew. And manananggal. Manananggal is like a half human, half bird, half, half human, something like that. Manananggal is the half of it, you know, half body, you know, on the waistline. Well, uh, um, separate, you know, cut it into half. And then one leg will be stay in one place. And then the other half of the body is going like flying. You know, there's a, uh, um, a wing on it. Manandag is very famous, you know, mystical creature. I hear this one a lot, but thank goodness that I haven't seen this yet. This one, Manananggal. <laughs> Scary though. One night that my mom, I think... Um, one night, my mom heard something that, you know, something's flying um, at the top of our um, roof. But we can't see them because it's already die, uh, dark. And this kind of uh, creature is the only uh, um, 
fly at night because, of course, you know, in the morning, people is going to kill them. But the very scary thing, you know, long nail, like a uh, looks like a vampire, the teeth and the uh, the wing. Oh my gosh, it's really scary. Uh, mom said that don't go out because, like this mananangal is, um, they're hungry. And, you know, we don't want to be caught by this mananangal. So what she did is she poured a uh, salt around the house, like a circle, you know, so that this kind of thing won't, you can't get in inside the house. So, um, yeah, mananangal. But she also threw, she threw a, uh, like, rice outside the house, you know. I don't know why, but maybe to feed the mananangal. That's scary, though. But for, I'm going to finish it. I'm going to read the, uh, I know here, the comments here. Good morning, Ian Ben Gibson. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thumbs up, Rose. <laughs> Live in North Carolina. Thank you so much for joining us. Hello, Tiger. Hello. Good morning. Mr. Walsh. Walsh. Mr. Walsh from New York. Good morning. Mr. Vegas from Las Vegas. Do you still believe in ghosts, Jen? Yes, I do. I do. Until, until now. When, since I was a kid. Since I was a kid, you know. Until now. I'm still, I still believe in ghosts. Maybe I haven't seen a ghost in my life, but I believe them, you know. By the way, you look great wearing black. Thank you. Thank you. I love Siki Whore. Oh, have you been to Siki Whore? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Good morning, Jen. We, with all that ghost stories you tell us today, will you be able to walk? You're home at night with the light off. No, no, I can't do that. No way. There is no way. I can't. I can't. My favorite YouTuber. Hello. Hello, Nicholas. How are you today? Oh, hello, Jen. How are you doing? I am good. I am super good. Thank you. How are you? My favorite YouTuber, my wife will get made at will get mad at me if I make joke about weather. She says the weather can kill people. She's from the province. The weather can kill people? Hmm. Hmm. Real I haven't heard that. Wake wake. Wak wak. Wak wak. Have you ever watched Harry Potter? There's a lot of ghosts and strange creatures in that. Yes. Yes, I still remember when I was, let's say, um, 10th grade like that, or I was too young on that movie. Still young on that Harry Potter movies. My favorite YouTuber, the USA government surpasses natural stuff. That is where all medications are called, are copped, are copped from, from nature. Mm. Hmm. California, thank you so much for watching us today. Robert, can you? Can you talk about the pets that you have in the Philippines, like roaches or giant centipedes? Giant centipedes. Centipedes. Roaches. What's roaches? Let me search that one. Roaches. Hmm. Or maybe cockroach. You mean cockroach like that? Roaches. Um, we have a lot of spiders here, even uh, outside or in the window. Have a lot of spider in the laundry room. Laundry room have a lot of spider centipedes. What's the spelling of centipede? Okay, here it is. Oh, yes, yeah, it's not working anymore. Oh, that's why. 
That's great. That's great. That's great. Centipedes. I think that's a uh, what we call it. Um, like a gagamba here. Yeah, like that maybe. Roaches, or maybe you're talking about the crab. Oh, oh, I've seen this when I was a little kid. I've seen this is very dangerous one. Poisonous though. They said it's poisonous. Centipedes. I've seen this. They live under the uh, in the cool place, you know, like dirt, under the, underneath the dirt. I mean, centipedes. Okay, let's talk about that. Centipedes. Centipedes are elongated metameric creatures with one pair of legs per body segment. All centipedes are venomous. Yeah, venomous, and can inflict painful bites. Inject. Oh, it's not poisonous. I mean venomous. Okay, but I think their blood um, is green because I saw, I mean, I stepped on it one time, you know, because they're scary and they're like venomous. So, um, like, I'm going to kill it, but there's a light um, glowing color, a green one, but maybe it's their blood, but it, it's glowing color, glowing color. It glows, I mean, it glows. But I can I haven't seen a lot of centipedes here around us, you know. Maybe they only only live under the dirt or something like um um cool area, you know. Carol, good morning. How are you today, Carol? Thank you so much for coming here. We can see a ghost behind you. Oh, oh come on. It's still it's still early. Paul Hanson, hello. King David, I don't like my trap. It keeps on dancing every time that I don't like it. Hello, Big Kevin Media. Hello, John. Hello, John. Yeah, Typhoon. Okay, Typhoon. Typhoon. Yeah, it's not safe. If there's a Typhoon, it's better to stay inside the house. Ah. Living close to the sea is dangerous. Oh, well, not really, because we have here a uh, seawall, you know. If we have a typhoon or like a high tide or we experience a big waves here, we have a seawall here and it's gated to it. So it's safe. And we're safe. We're very safe here because we are here and the, um, we're living in the second floor. So in case there is a, um, you know, we are the person who's living in the safest place. Second floor. My girlfriend says you can get sick from the viruses that fall from the clouds when it rains. I think that there is no virus when it like rains, but um, uh, people get sick when it rains because uh, maybe uh, their immune system is uh, weak. Like uh, my brother, Charlie, um, every time that it rains, you know, he get wet from the uh, rain, you know, he gets, he gets sick. Dangerous. Sorry for typo. No, no worries. <clears throat> um. Tom, did you get the info about the lady to interview on your Gmail? Yes, I get it. I got it. I I just um I read it this morning. I just you know because maybe you sent it to me at night and then I uh, read it this morning because um it's already late you know so I read it this morning. I received it this morning. Um yes, I'm I will try. To, I'm going to contact this girl. Sounds in interesting. Thank you so much, Tom, by the way, for, you know, helping me to get an interview. Really do. I really appreciate it, Tom. Robert, thank you for your answer regarding the pests and insects. Much Oh, thank you so much. Oh, glad that you do because, you know, I'm just reading the, I know, the research here. But, yes, I haven't seen a lot here, a lot. Even in the forest, you know, one time we went to Valencia. We can't see the centipedes uh, anywhere, you know. 
my ah oh, big Kevin. That's for big Kevin. Big Kevin the Philippines. Uh, Thomas, Tom, there is a very good movie about ghost, the sixth sense. We watch Supernatural, so ghost um, almost every night here, every night. So I like the, uh, I know the actors. They're hot. Sometimes I leave my spirit ghost in the bathroom. <laughs> Thank you so much for the super sticker. I live in Bacolod oh, for three years. Oh, wow. Do you have a family in Bacolod or um, like you have a uh, Filipino there? Oh, how is it safe in Bacolod? Because I have a neighbor who lives in Bacolod. They said that, you know, even the police there, they use drugs and it's not safe. Is that true? Or maybe there's a place in Bacolod that is um, safe, you know. Thank you so much, my favorite YouTuber. Hello, Rory. Thank you so much for joining. I thought that you won't join us because oh, it's already late. What mythical creatures of Filipinos most scared of? Um, ghost. Number one is ghost. But it says here that... um, What was that? I'm going to uh, no, search that one again. The number one. I think it's the ghost. Or a aswang. Ten Philippine mythical creatures that travelers should look out for. Ooh, that's scary. Uh, travelers. You have to be careful. Ten Philippine mythical creatures travelers should look out for. First is Molto. Your basic Philippine mythical creature is the Molto, which is a ghost. There is a quite number of locations in the country where you can go ghost hunting. But Baguio, just like what I said, Baguio City should be what should be on the top of your list. From the diploma of the Swang. Number one. Ah, oh, ah, oh, I know that. Wait. Okay, it says here. Um, the, the first monster in the Philippines is Manananggal. But the most powerful mythical creature in the Philippines, oy, that's a yak. Abatibot, Sigbi, Manananggal, Tik-Tik, or Wak-Wak. Siya, Naktik, Balang, Muno. Anyway. Thanks, you just didn't want, okay, thanks, just didn't want that email to get deleted. No, no worries, I saved it. I didn't delete it. Any goat stories? Goat stories? Chufa, cobra? What is that? Goat stories? Hm. What is that, Rory? Goat stories like chupa, chupa, cobra? What's that? I'm going, I haven't heard this word. So let me, I know. Let me search it, okay? Chupa cabra. Chupa cabra. There's no meaning. Chupa cabra. I this one. Allah. No, I haven't. We we don't. I think. The chupa cabra or chupa cabras is a legendary creature in the folklore folklore of parts of the Americas, which is the purported site is reported. Of. Oh, that is only in America. We don't have here in the Philippines. Scary, look. No, we don't have that here. We are Luma. I live in Iloilo for 10 years. Wow, that's a long year, you know. Thank you for... You know, I think that you really love Philippines because, well, you live in Bacolod for three years and now Iloilo in 10 years. So maybe you're here in the Philippines for, let's say, 13 years. Yeah, 13 years. I am curious because you're here for a very long time. Did you um, learn some of our dialect here, local languages? I never seen a gecko until I went to later. I am from Canada. <laughs> oh, gecko. But they said that 
um they're harmless 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 but they they look scary though their skin especially their eyes gosh a very real crocodile we don't have that fear ah maybe they do only in a zoo yeah i've seen a maybe it's alligator or crocodile i can see the the difference on them because they look the same but what's the difference of alligator and crocodile? They have the same leg, you know, four legs. They look like a living dinosaur. They swim. But I was warned by Philippine man, be careful walking on in the poisonous snakes. In the poisonous snakes. We have a lot of poisonous poisonous snakes here in the Philippines. But one time, ha, huh? one night, one night, we have a, uh, like, um, it was raining, and uh, um, around the house, you know, we are surrounded by a big, gra I mean, tall grasses, you know, because um, the other lot is <clears throat> empty and nobody's living there, so um, the grass grow tall or big, you know, so, like, um, grass everywhere. So one night, my father heard that our chicken get like, like that. And what is that called? Like shouting? It was that called shouting. It's not shouting of rooster. But um, so he knows that there is a snake. So we went out. So it was raining hard last uh, that time or that night. So uh, um, we saw a big, large snake. Um. I don't think it's anaconda, but they said that it will grow big. Um, a python? Maybe it's a python? Maybe it's a python snake? You know, a diamond skin? You know, green diamond skin? Images. I want to see the images. But they said that the python... Oh my gosh, yeah, it's really a python. But they said it's not poisonous. But... It's really big snake. Yeah, it's like this. So, well, um, uh, we called, uh, let's see, how many neighbors we called? Uh, let's say four people went to the house because my father got scared. It's, we have a baby, uh, you know, we have a baby uh, uh, living in our house. And uh, <clears throat> so we are also... Uh, um, thinking maybe there is a other snake because we don't know there we are surrounded by you know a lot of trees around the house you know grass everywhere and it was raining you know and maybe the snake was hungry so that's why they went to our place you know we have a lot of chicken too you know we just saw the snake you know on our jackfruit tree and i still remember that they're having trouble of um catching that snake you know so what they did is because they don't want to climb that tree to catch the snake because they're all scared because the snake is already big maybe like the size of like 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 this maybe i guess and it's a python but it's not they said it's not poisonous so maybe it's but i don't know so what they did is they have a bamboo stick you know bamboo stick and then they also use say a rope you know what they did to catch it just like a dog the way they catch the dog you know a stray dog like that so finally they catch they <clears throat> they catch it but they say uh, maybe a uh, 30 minutes or more than that to catch that snake they're all afraid to climb that tree just to catch a python python they said that a lot of people said that if you can if you have a python snake or a snake that was a diamond skin it'll make you rich i don't know if that if that's real but after what happened that night um you know my father we don't want to um keep that snake you know because it's dangerous it's going it's wild and it's going to eat you someday you know and then my so we just gave it to our neighbor we didn't know that we can sell them <laughs> we can sell the python and what our neighbor did is um he took it to Siliman, one of the famous university, a private university here in Domagati. You know, he took it there. 
I don't know how much um, they paid for him. So we didn't care. But that snake is still there, you know. Maybe they have a, uh, what is that, a zoo inside the school in university? Is it, nobody can get near on that snake, snake because it grow in a wild, you know. <clears throat> so it's not safe to cap that. How many mythical creatures are in the Philippines? It says here that at least we have 10 mythical creatures here in the Philippines. How many? How? Hi. Okay, it says here that we have at least 10, but it only showed the, um, how many medical Oh, a house of medical More than 100, 140, it makes it one Ah, okay. One, two, three, four. Hey, it's a lot. There's no anomaly. It's a lot. It is a lot. So there's a creature underwater. There's a creature in like air, soil, creatures of the soil. Creatures of the water, creatures of the air. Oh, yeah, we have a lot of scary, I know, mythical creatures. But still, we see the Philippines, huh? Can you control any of those creatures? Um, if you are, if you are one of the dark side, you can, you can do that. If you are evil, you can have that kind of creature. You know, you're evil. Godzilla from Japan. Godzilla. Hmm. I haven't heard that. I uh, know Godzilla. Chupacabra is as in Central America. Is as Central America. Ghosts are real. I seen one before. Had my foot flip up two times or something in the dark. This trip. I thought it was my nephew playing a joke. Oh, really? Wow. Are you scared? I mean, is it scares you? My brother's wife had something touch her back as she was washing clothes in the daytime. Is there a, uh, like, um, something that, um, what is that called? Like, touches her for sure. I don't know what's that called with you. I have two beautiful daughters. Oh, wow. Beautiful daughters. They have different smile. Uh, I heard crocodile is in summer. Yeah, in summer. Like in summer in Mindanao, you know, we have that. Lulung, the biggest um, crocodile in the world. But Lulung died. So, Media is a famous Philippines YouTube blogger from the beginning. You must know. Oh, Big Kevin Media is a famous Philippine YouTube blogger from the beginning. You must know. Really? How come I didn't know that? Oh my gosh. I have a famous blogger here. Oh, I didn't know that. Let me search that in YouTube. <laughs> Oh, thank you for telling me, uh, hi, Joe. Oh my goodness, I have uh, a not here. Oh. 
Thank you for watching me today, Big Kevin Media. Two beautiful daughters. Jen, I read that I read that salty salt water crocodiles are able to swim the field from Australia. Oh, they, oh really? But thank goodness we don't have that here. I mean, we don't have we can't see the we don't see a crocodile, you know, in the sea water here. Gosh, that would be scary. But um I saw in Facebook that was uh, last week ago. Um, people who, who live in the, uh, I think that they're squatters because they live in the sea. They just, they have a house there, you know. Maybe they don't have their own land, so that's why they live. But they have a house in the ocean. Like those poor people, you know, maybe we call it here squatters like that. And so they saw a huge crocodile, you know, swimming in the ocean underneath their house. Scary. Crocodile in Mindanao. I'm waiting for my jelly bee. They delivered to homes. They called DoorDash, my wife ordered. Oh, so you're here in the Philippines. Oh, well, I haven't tried that one, jelly bee. I can't use the ano. What is that? A uh, food delivery, like a food panda or a grab delivery? I tried that, but they won't do that here because they said it's too far from Dumaguete. Oh, I like chicken joy and spaghetti in Jollibee. I hope you understood me when I tell you Seinfeld made massive money from no topics. Seinfeld made massive money from no topics. From no yeah, I did. I did understand you. He did understand me. Send her money, show your upper chair. Robert, send her money. Robert, send her money, show your upper chair. Huh? Need to go away. Bye. I like gone. Oh, thank you so much. I became I become a, a mythical creature for you when I get to the Philippines. <laughs> You're funny. Don't miss him at True Philippines Gathering, the most exclusive people. Hello, Scott Hicks. Thank you so much for joining us today. How are you today? Oh, thank you for being a member again. What's that? Being a join a membership. I mean, I don't know what's that for. I just made that, but I don't know. The dark side, Darth Vader, Darth Vader. Love your personality. If Charlene is like you, I will marry. Good morning, Mr. Mitch. Nice to see you again. What is your real name again, Mr. Mitch? Just joking. Wombat. Do you know any story of people being cursed, like someone wishes bad luck to them? Um, I've only seen in my, uh, in real life, uh, I heard that a lot, you know, in real life, a lot, many people, but in person, no, I haven't seen, but um, I, know, I know a lady that who has been like that, you know, curse, just like what you said, curse. But I know, yeah, a lady who has been cursed. Um, because uh, one time there is a person that who asked, I mean, who wants to borrow a money from them, but they refuse to give them a money, to give that person a money because they're poor and they don't have a money to, you know, borrow for them, you know, so... What the other the, the the neighbor did is, um, they they curse that they are just going to take something from you, something that you own, like maybe a clothes, like a short or a t-shirt, like that. So I don't know what they're going to do, but yes. So the effect is the the person get sick and then getting weak, weak and get weak, weak and then. Like such a terrible happened on him on his part of his body, like something nasty happened to him, you know. So it's very, I know it's very unsafe or very scary. And gosh, and the the lady, uh, um, 
So they know, I mean, that lady knew that she's been cursed because they went to Siki Hor. Um, they want to know who did that and why. So, uh, but in the end, uh, she died. So I haven't, no, I don't know the whole story because I don't want to listen to this kind, but I'm just telling you a very short you know, summary story of what happened to her. But yeah, it's really, it's really happening. What is the most easy of? Jen, what is the most easy of? What does that mean, Tiger? Jen, what is the most easy of? Easy on? Easy on. Ah, uh, easy all thing to cook for you. Um, easiest, um, a sunny side up egg. It's the easiest way to cook. Um, sunny, what else? Um, like a sausages, like that. But, oh, for making a note to Michado, I know how to cook Minudo. And uh, I, I don't know how to cook Michado, but Minudo, I can cook a Minudo. Um, beef Tapa. I love to cook beef. Pork steak or beef steak. Um, also, a Sinigang. I like something like is, um, you know, a new taste or you no know, Sinigang. You know, it's a more, more than like a... Uh, Um, like a uh, what's that called in English? The I uh, know, um, English, English, English. Bruno is watching, and I really thought that you are Bruno Mars. <laughs> Paul Hansen, a witch will take a piece of your hair and make a voodoo, a voodoo doll. Yes, yes. You're right, do that. Or not just a, maybe just your picture or something that you owned, you know? So don't leave your things behind you. Just keep it inside of your house. And if you're trying to hang your clothes outside and don't forget it to, um, you know, um, um, what is this, get it before it, and um, before the sunset, you know? Make sure that nobody's going to take your clothes. Yeah, she died, very sad. Evil people, you know. Gosh, it's scary. I will never be cursed because I am a good heart. Please don't do that, okay? You're cute and funny. Sorry, my keyboard. No, that's okay. That's so all right. Thank you for I uh, know talking with me. I thought that um I'm not good of doing this live stream, you know. I'm not good. I am not professional of doing a live stream. A live stream. My wife from the mountain, mountains. I choose a wife from a poor family figure. You can't teach a rich woman to live for if something should happen someday. Mm. I, I, I believe that because also in provinces, you know, we have a lot of experiences, you know. We worked at early age, you know, we wake up so early to help our parents, you know, and also uh, tell your wife, you know, she's uh, from a province, uh, uh, you know, province, she lives in a province area. Maybe she know what is the, uh, uh, what is this called? Uh, Mamunlai, Mamunlai, you know, we, that's a Visaya word. Is she a Visaya, Visaya girl? Does she lives here somewhere in Visayas? Mamunlai or what's the Tagalog of Mamunlai? Mananam og mga ano, tanon, like that. Two dolls, Jen and Charlene, but not voodoo. Oh, please don't try to do that, okay? I mean, please, not me, not me. I did nothing wrong. Huh? What is your favorite way to travel? Plane, boat, or bus? I don't know because I know which one is better. Maybe a plane. Maybe a plane. But in plane, if there's something bad happen, there's no parachute. In boat, I don't even know how to swim. But there's a lifeboat. I mean, life jacket. So maybe that's okay. And bus, what if it'll crash? I don't know. I really enjoy and look forward to see your stream. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, you live alone? Where's your 
family. Where's your sister or your brother or your mom? You know. Did you ever take a boat? Did I? Did I? No, not in my whole life. No, no. But there's a, a lot of abandoned fishing boat here near in our house. You know, just walk outside and you can see a lot of, I mean, one or two abandoned fishing boat. So I was thinking, Mark, if the, I know here, the sleeping mountain is going to blow up, we're just going to steal the, uh, the fishing boat here, you know, nobody on it. And maybe it's abandoned, so we'll just go seeking her, you know. But no, we're not going to do that. It's just, it's just I'm just kidding, guys. Mark should teach you to swim. He tried, you know, he tried, but I cannot swim like a meters away if I don't have fins with me. I cannot survive in the ocean alone. I need Mark with me. I need Mark with me in my life. I need Mark in my life. Okay. You and Mark should go to Sikihor. I stayed in Aircon Hotel 700. Only you and Mark should go to Sikihor. I stayed in Aircon Hotel. Oh, there's a hotel in Sikihor. How about the mall? How about the mall? I kept on talking about the mall. I mean, I mean I'm curious about the mall. Other places. I need Mark with me. Mark is only with me. Mark is only with me. Okay, I've been here for 46 minutes. So, and after this, guys, I'm going to, you know, leave the laundry again. I'm a wife, so I should do better. Do the house, do the laundry. I just uh, need to wash the sheets. That's, that's all because I'm done washing all of our clothes. So I'm gonna do is um wash the uh, bed sheet or the uh, pillowcases, something like that. The mall in Sikihor, no mall na lang. No mall in Sikihor. Mm, see in G in Cebu, I really wish that we can go to Cebu this coming week, you know, or next week. I really want to go to Cebu. Giant sharks in the ocean? No, not here. Not here. We're very safe here. I fly my mother-in-law and father-in-law to Manila from Dumaguete with my wife to meet me so they get to fly. Oh, it's so nice of you. Mm. Well done, another live stream. Hmm? You want another live stream? Can you find out if Short Province Girl stopped doing a YouTube? I liked her singing. Um, maybe you... I'm doing a live here. You can just, you can just, you know, guys, all the search Short Province Girl, you know. Maybe you subscribe to her channel. We're not friends. We're not really friends, you know. We met a couple of times, but we're not talking like friends, you know. We're not hanging out together, you know. We're not friends. I don't know what happened to her. Filipino! Short term, why it should be me? Are you going to pay me for doing this? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Ay, nako, I'm just kidding, guys. Okay? Don't get tampo. I don't know. I really don't know. Because I don't watch her channel. Look at that booty. I don't know what happened. Oh, she's got a lot of views. Oh, my gosh. Maybe she had a lot of Anona. Really, she's got a lot of views than me. 
I don't know. How can I know if she's still making a video? We're not friends. So anyway, I don't know her. I uh, know real. I know name. Any other good Pinay YouTubers? Oh, all I know the good Pinays. Uh, the good Pinay YouTubers that I know is the one that I met. Um, my friend, Judea's Life and Burn City Vlog. Judea's Life and Burn City Vlog. And uh, also, also, I almost forgot the gang, gang in the Philippines. I like gangs, you know, her face, you know, it's very uh, not smooth, it's very clear, you know, like, a very hardworking woman, you know, very hardworking. Like, the, I uh, know, call it her, independent woman. Which is I know, okay? On this which question, which is I only know. Hmm. They are my friends. They are my good friends. What is a good low budget hotel in Tumageti until I find a uh, apartment? I think everything is a uh, more expensive. The cheap one. Low budget hotel. Let me search that for you, Mr. Morgan. Let me search that for you. A little help. The low budget hotel. Um, low budget. Low budget hotel in. <clears throat> low budget hotel in. To get the city. Um, low hotels in Dumaguete, cheapest hotel in Dumaguete. Okay. Um, best price. Okay. Still searching, so please wait. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, hurry, I think our internet is slow here. Still, I'm not searching. Still, I'm searching. It showed now. Okay, we got here. Oh, how do I know this? Need a quarantine hotel? No. Okay, the Henry Resort. No, oh, this is a resort. It's not a hotel. I'm talking about hotel. What happened to Anna? A flying fish hotel. The lowest price guarantee. Oh, okay, it says the lowest price. Wait, wait. Horizon. Horizon. Vaccinated staff to get you. Oh, how do how can I know the per night here? <clears throat> Guest rating. Pay a out of frequency swimming pool, property type, distance center. Um Rivera suits. The flying fish hotel. Okay, with the similar lowest price guarantee. Is it says here the flying fish hotel lowest price currently? Let me search it for you, okay? Okay, 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 okay. okay. The flying fish hotel, mm -hmm. still searching. Come on, I think my internet is. I know. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Um, how much? Cause it's cheap, clean. He would love to go back here. Highly recommended for solo travelers. Great place to chill. Okay, these are these are the reviews. So let's go back to Anna. Search the Flying Fish Hotel. Facilities, airport transfer, tennis court, pets allowed, spa, car park, front desk, 24 hours, free Wi-Fi in all rooms, luggage, storage. That's good. They have coffee shop, restaurants, Ooh. library, Ooh. room service, bar. Ooh. Due to COVID-19, we request that you check travel session. Keyboard Avenue. I want to know the price. Come on.
How much is enough for night views? I can check them. Why is there no price here? Amenities in this one is showing in favor to come to this business. Hello, I don't know. Where is the price? How much is it? But it says here the Flying Fish Hotel. Can you, you can search Mr. Morgan the Ano? I Ano. I mean, not Mr. Morgan. Robert. Okay, Robert, you can check the uh, Flying Fish Hotel. Flying Fish Hostel. Hostel. H O S T E L. Hostel. Flying Fish Hostel. Oh. Okay. Keep going, Jen, or take a break on live stream again. Ah, oh, you want me to do a live stream? I am cheap, Charlie, but I actually loaded and I'm humble, I am place to this. Huh? You didn't need to annoy. Annoy. Did you just say look at that booty? No, I didn't say that. No, I never say that. I got my Jollibee spicy chicken. Oh, yummy. Oh, he's got his chicken. Hi, Jen and everyone from here in Dallas City, Philippines, where I am late. I had to moderate. Oh, you're moderating juice, Charlie. How to do that? I tried to mod moderate Mark on my channel, but, you know, he can block the person there. You know, I don't know what's going to, I don't know. Mark, good morning, Jen. Hope you and Mark have a great weekend. Thank you so much. Thank you. Budget Hotel in Dumaguete, Asia Novo, Asia Novo Boutique, and it's next to Novo Homeware. So, Novo, you mean the mall? Really? Ah, I went there sometimes, Novo, Novo, Novo. I mean the, the, no, um, the store. Filipinos perspective. Good morning, Jan. First joining here because one of my subscribers take me here. Nice to see you. Hi. Hello. Oh, thank you so much. Who, who's the person who's ano here? I'm just talking. Ano oi? Subscribe. What's that? <laughs> Asian novel is opposite. Oh, I've been to that mall. Super super super. So you can save money and walk boardwalk near to yeah. Oh, how did you know? So you hear, you've been here in Dumaguete. It was, uh, I don't know. Davia, in Mindanao, they told me about the kick, 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 surely that's mythical. Kick, kick. Kick, kick. Kick, kick or tick, tick. Oh, you mean kick, kick? I mean, the ano manananggal. Yeah, there's, yeah, better to go with, to stay inside. No worries. Okay, thank you so much. But I can't find how to I uh, know the the price of here or oh, the price of the room. Dun, 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 dun. But they have a good they have a good uh, no, reviews. But just like what Tiger Morgan uh, suggested, the Novo. What is that again? The Novo uh, opposite supermarket. The Novo, 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 budget Asia Novo Boutique. Asia Novo Boutique. Okay, let me search that. Asia Novo Boutique. Asia Novo Boutique. Asia Novo Boutique. Asia Novo Boutique. Do I get it? Do I get it? Do I get it? Do I get it? Boutique. What's the spelling? Boutique. Boutique. It's a novel boutique in Do I get it? Book chip. Oh, book chip photo. Okay. I got a... Where you live? I am in Bacon. Bacon, Negros Oriental. Where you live? Filipinas perspective. Hmm. 
Filipinas perspective. Full channel. Filipinas perspective. I like the no? the channel name. Lowest price. Uh, oh, yeah. Six maximum is six thousand. Okay, 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 okay. There is three hundred pesos. 816 pesos. I that's not the one. Did Mark choose this house to be near your family? No, no, uh, I am the one I showed him this. I uh, know the picture, you know, I just um, put it in Facebook. And then I showed it to you, to him. And then we came here and then he liked the place. He liked the place. It's a big, huge place for us. Like it, you know, it is the one that he is uh, looking, you know, um, close to the beach, which is you don't need to walk further, you know, right on the beach, miss small, right on the beach, right on the beach. Because other, other apartment, you need to walk by for how many meters, you know, go to like you you need to cross house another house another house but this one front beach so perfect agoda is a link for cheap hotels yes it, it's where i am now oh shook what the hook agoda 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 which is i got it agoda Agoda, Agoda, Agoda. If you can see it clearly, Agoda is Lipching Hotel. I am from Cebu City, North Boundary Province. Oh, Bisaya. Hello, Bisaya. Bapa kita ang mga Bisaya. So, okay. I think, hello, I'm almost here. I mean, I'm over an hour with you guys. So, are you, you still want to keep on? going you know if you're not bored because i am enjoying talking with you your nonsense stuff you know nonsense topic you know yeah uh, this is just pretty uh, the rent is mahal but worth it for space and the beach yes you're right it's so mahal here it's so mahal I miss Valencia. I really miss Valencia, you know. Their temperature there, school, you know. And I like, I want to live where there it's, I like to live, you know, the places where there's a fog, you know. I really miss Valencia. I hope someday we'll go back to Valencia. You know, I want to go back to Valencia. Female gamers make a lot of money gaming online. I don't know how they do that, you know. Like, they're just sitting there and then playing mobile, but I don't want to play mobile. I've heard there are some Philippine islands that are known for ghosts. Yes, there is like Baguio City or in Tagaytay City. A lot of ghosts in Baguio City. Maybe the ghosts wants to, they want to stay in uh, cool places, like cold places, like in Baguio. My wife, mad, why, why my, my wife, my 3,000 USA dollar last month gave me. Oh, that's a lot of money. 150,000 pesos. I am correct. One. Uh, yeah, 150,000 pesos. I am watching your remodeling house video, family. That's why I'm here. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for watching. Yes, I promise. Um, let me. I'm going to subscribe on your you know, channel. And right, let's go back to YouTube. And Philippines perspective.
Dun, 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 dun. There you go. Wow, you have a lot of videos already. Oh, it will be nice perspective. I hope we can meet again. Oh, you are uh, no, here. I want to meet you in person. Ah. Can you, can I have you, can I guess you on my channel? Filipina perspective. I like you already. You look. Mm, I like you already. <laughs> That's. Oh, hello. That's the public weekend market in Valencia, a similar market in Bakong. We do have here in Bakong, but um, I uh, not I didn't go there yet. We haven't went. We haven't go there yet. But in Valencia. Yeah, we do have here in Bakong, but it's not the same as in Valencia. You know, a lot of... And because in Valencia, they have a lot of people that who sells, uh, you know, a lot of vegetables, different kinds, you know, a um, lot of different kinds of vegetables or fruits or selling fruits. There are They are selling, like, uh, someone selling a, a bread, someone selling cakes. Someone is selling eggs. Someone is selling a whole lechon. But you can buy a uh, any part of lechon. You know, you can buy a a head, a whole head, or you can buy a one leg like that. And uh, also, there are some there are some foreigners too who are selling. Yeah. There are um, foreigners too that who are selling the um, foods like a burger. They really, their food is really good, really, really good. Um, um, the, especially the patty is really, really good. It's really yummy. And while they're making, um, they have the uh, what's that tables and chairs there with the canopy, and um, also the bread is really, really good. It's easy in the corner, so in Bakong, while in Bakong. It's not much here. It's not a lot. But we do have here a food stand. Every day, you know, people are selling um, fruits here in Bakong and vegetables on one side full of um, fruits and vegetables. But they're all selling in the same stuff. So there's uh, there's no, I mean, there's like a, uh, what is that? Okay. There's, they're all selling the same stuff, you know. Store, I mean, other store is selling apple and oranges. But how about twenty thousand dollars? What is that in pesos? Um, let's say that is one two thousand dollars. I, I, I mean, <laughs> okay. I mean, it's just, I thought 100,000 is in pesos, but you said dollar. That's a lot. $100. What that's in pesos? Pesos. Like over a million already, like that? Over a million in pesos. It's smart ever a naughty husband or just a skinny. Both. My chicken is now ghost. I ate I eat him up. <laughs> Hello camera. How are you today? You're very late. Good to see you still doing your daily life. I hope everything is okay. Okay, yes, everything is fine. Thank you so much. Thank you. How can I be your guest? Um, we can do it in live stream. You know, I can send you a uh, I can send you a link on Streamyard in your via uh messenger. So we can, or can I just have your ano uh, messenger? I got my email address on my one of my I know video up uploaded video there so you can send me a, I know your email ad so like 
Oh, in Valencia, there is a lot of room. Less crowded, clean, and yes, it's really clean. That's why I like in Valencia because it's really clean. Really clean. And a lot of trees, you know. My wife has a lot in Valencia. Oh, wow. 100 kilometers and millions of faces. Yes, I am correct. Yes, I am counting 5 million, but I don't want to mention a 5 million because, yeah, 5 million. 5, 10, 15, 15, 5, 30, 5, 40, 5, 50. Oh, 5 million plus 6. Okay, so 5 million. I can retire in one hundred k. That's a lot of money. It's a lot. But don't spend it to a wrong Filipina, okay? If you're looking at Filipina, then, you know, lots, lots of foreigners, you know, you spend a lot of money for a Filipina, you know, which is... But choose a, uh, a good Filipina if you want to spend it. Five... Oh my gosh, mathematics. Wow, you're good of... I uh, know. Um, what is that? Converting in pieces. So guys, I am here for a no. There's no a no. I I lost a words now. You still want to keep this on going? You know, want to keep on going? If if okay, well we can do the no here. Oh, my father, you know what, Filipina perspective? My father do this before, you know, to buy or coconut wine. Uh, when I was a little kid or in elementary, this is his work, you know, to buy. Of climbing the trees is dangerous, you know, it's not safe. But not anymore. Uh, yes. I have, oh, please, please, you don't need to share that. You need to keep that in yourself because, I know, it's better to be safe. Mr. Robert, you have a lot of money. Um, please put that in the bank. And if you're, if you are planning to come here in the Philippines, just, you know, put that in your bank, you know, in America or where you're from. And then just, you can bring your... Um, what is that, debit card or credit card, something like that. If you buy something or buy a grocery here or clothes here in mall, we got that in Robinson or in Harbor Mall, if you know, buy something, groceries, you can just use your debit card or credit card, you know, because you're just going to, you know, um, US dollar or pesos. It's just like what Mark did. Hi. If someone... If someone else joins her YouTube membership, Jen will keep going. If someone else joins her YouTube membership, Jen will keep going. Yeah, yeah. I am humble trader. Maybe I teach what I know one day. I am humble trader. Maybe I teach what I know one day. It's worth it, guys. Not expensive, and you get a green thing next to your name. Oh. <laughs> You're talking about the membership. I haven't I put a video on that, you know, for membership. Maybe I I will, but I don't know what kind of video. Uh, yes, I'm going to make a video for only uh, people that who was in there, you know. Um, a special video for you guys. But I don't know what kind of video. That's what? That was the crazy stream. <laughs> to buy. Yeah, I'll call it coconut wine. Or um, um, vinegar. Coconut vinegar. Mm. In nature. Oh my gosh. A new member here. New tuber. My favorite YouTuber, thank you so much. You became a YouTube member. Oh my gosh, guys. I just made that membership, but I really don't know what's that for. Java for my members, you know, only. 
Do you have any request? You know, a request, a nice request, you know, or an expensive request or a friendly request. Watch it from Facebook. Um, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Filipinas perspective. Okay, I'm, I think I'm going to end my life here because I got nothing to say now. I got nothing to say and I don't want to bore you guys. Thank you for your time. It's a very long live stream. Okay, guys, I'm going to end my life here. Thank you so much for joining us today. And I hope to see you again tomorrow, um, especially to my newest, my newest, newest member, you know, my favorite YouTuber. Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Scott Hicks. Thank you so much. Tiger Morgan, thank you so much. And who else? And to make, you see, see, to make money on YouTube, all you need. All you need to do is tell people you have membership. I have money because I have brain. Thank you so much. Thank you for sharing today. Have a good day. Have a good day. Ingat, Mr. Taylor. Las Vegas, you had a good topic today. Topics are better streams. Okay. What do you want me to talk about tomorrow? Hello? I think I'll better choose it for myself, not to a super. Drinking Toba is my first doing why thing is in junior that's why it's coconut wine. Oh my god, you drink the coconut wine? The taste is terrible. I mean it's horrible taste, you know. You can do it. I mean you're a tough woman, you're a tough girl. Okay guys, have a nice day. Thank you so much for joining us today. Bye. See you again tomorrow. Tomorrow, okay. Um, and if those if those people that who haven't been my member or one of my members here, you can just click the join membership button. It's easy, and it's free. Lucas, talk about relationship secrets. Relationship, relationship secrets. Ooh, relationship secrets. That's interesting. Going to put that one. I'm going to write that down. Relationship. What makes relationship stronger? What makes relationship longer? Mr. Vegas, talk about Filipino costumes. That Mr. Mean men need to learn. So make a list before stream. Hey. Uh talk about Filipino costumes. Filipino costume costumes that Western men need to learn. Oh, this one is interesting. I like this. Men need to learn. I like this one. I like this. I like this. I like this. Yeah. 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 Don't find your email. I will message you. Thank you so much. Filipino perspective. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great day. See you again tomorrow. Bye bye. Be careful and have a great day. Have a good day. Have a good night. If you're ready to go to sleep, such as Pasta Lubong. Oh, I'm going to write that down. Okay. Uh, all women understand relationships. Men rarely, 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 rarely do. That is why women are, are in charge of the money. All women understand relationships. Men rarely do. It's very hard. I'm having trouble of pronouncing this rarely. 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 Men rarely do. Rarely do. That's why women are in charge of the money. Mm. Can't wait to hang out with you guys.
You're right, sir. Okay, bye guys.